Let me try to. Okay. I'll try to not shout. Okay. Well, we are live. Do we got voice and video? Can you see us now? Can you hear us now? Oh, I say yes. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the, the ad might have de deafened everyone in the audience coming from my um, headset. Ah, oh, there. All right, so we are Woo! good. That was the ad. Um, mine was some kind of dancing frog. <laughs> um. This is Fiendish with Dimension Turing, and I'm here today with Dimension Diva. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello, Diva. <clears throat> hello, hello. <laughs> hello. And our today we're doing a DTC Roadshow, and our special guest today is Verisa at Wolfsbane. Did I say that right, Verisa? Yes, okay. and hi. hi. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good. Uh, as far as news goes, not a whole lot on the Dimension front. They did um, tease that they may be opening up the PTS next week for um, Fay Yule testing. So that means that Fay Yule is going to be right around the corner. I think we're all ready for that. And that's about it on the news front. And yes, I'm seeing all the, the happy anniversary wishes for the DTC. Uh, the 8th is the DTC's third birthday. Kind of hard to believe we've been doing this for three years, Diva. It seems like just yesterday we started it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your good yes. wishes. Thank you. We still don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do something. <laughs> yes, it'll be something. We don't know what. All right. So do you want to talk about current contests? Oh, sure. So, as most of you know, the Amazing Dims contest is out there going strong. And it actually, um, tonight at 9 p.m. PST NA server time is the deadline to open all of the mazes. And I think there are about 23 entries. And they're all pretty much open. I think only four or five are still yet to open, and they have until tonight. So we want to thank Blythe for sponsoring such a fun contest. And I can't wait to go see all of them because the ones I've seen have really been fun. Yep. And then about a contest coming in the future, Bella from Lathis announced on the forums, most of you probably seen it, that she and Mal's are going to be sponsoring a contest in early 2017. So... That's it for the real contest. Then we have some not contest giveaways. And of course, Katasia's Feast or Famine uh, just closed today. And she's, uh, I think she already announced the winners today. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if she doesn't come up with another one for December. So be on the lookout for her giveaway on the forums. And then, of course, there's the Dimension Gallery Fey Yule Giveaway Challenge, which is to build a Fey Yule Dimension. You can do any size, any type, and it's not a contest, but um, Nouve will be doing a random drawing from all the entries on December 30th. So that's about it for contests and not contests. Yep. And I've already gotten started on looking through... Um this dimension, which is um, a moment, moment of, of Zen. Yes. That's by your alt, Velisa? Right, this is Velisa's. Okay. Now, you have just recently started a dimension building, is that right? That's right. It's been probably about three months. Wow. 
And you have six fully completed dimensions, I believe, right? Yes. Yes, yes and, and you're working on more. <laughs> yes. Yes. So totally addicted in only three months. Absolutely. Now, have you just started playing Rift 2, or had you been playing for a while? Mm, off and on since uh, closed beta. Okay. And you're an artist in real life. That's right, I am. Artist designer, artist slash designer. So this is one of the, uh, well, I mean, they're, this is one of the earlier of your six, isn't it? This is like one or two? I'm sorry, what was that? I'm hearing a lot of um, uh, audio in the background as well, so I'm having a hard time. This is like your first or second dimension? This, Yeah, I think this was the second. So all of her dimensions are on Wolfsbane. So as you know, we uh, try to go through as many as we can, but not too many so we can show all the great details. So if we miss, miss some... Be sure to come over to Wolfsbane and do a Valisa, Virisa. There's another one. <laughs> I know, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> Valisa, Virisa. What's number three, V? Sorry, right, what's that? Valisa, Virisa, and? Uh, Vivisa. Yes, Vivisa. I should have remembered that one. Um, all over here on Wolfsbean. My home shard. Mm -hmm. So Diva oh. gets to be lazy today. <laughs> Diva's lazy every day. So you're walking on that entrance pathway, which is oh so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yep, this and is a really nice use of a dormant core. And we're on the low end of the item limit here, even. Yeah, this is a T3. And not even full, but, I mean, it is very detailed. There we go. Diva's first new outfit in three years. Everybody got a good look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've gotten a lot of comments about it. Few of them are about finally changing. And how are you liking that rogue now that um? Uh, uh, Shut up! Got <laughs> just don't go there. You just want me to have a tantrum in front of everybody. How about that animalism fix? No. <laughs> You just want me to cry in public. <laughs> it's not fun. I love your wall art. Um, you have wall art in, I think, just about every dimension, mm -hmm. which is not surprising since you're an artist. Um It's a yeah, pretty kitchen. The kimono on the... Oh, I love that, too. On the, on the thing. And what was the next one on our list? The next one... Is... Did you go in these back rooms? I did that earlier, while we were still okay. talking about contests. Um, oh, while I was blabbing. Okay, good. Uh, the next one, let's go see... Let me uh, oh, I didn't come out to the back back. Yeah, she's got another little water garden in here, too. I didn't oh, know yeah, if you saw, fountain, yeah. saw that I, in the Japanese-style bathtub and everything. There's this one other wall art in here, too, that's some leaves. I just love it. It's simple and gorgeous, both. 
what were those rocks made of? Rocks. I'm not sure which rocks. Oh, the rocks under the uh, painting with the candles. I think they're like, oh, I don't know. That might be it. The, the potatoes or avocados or something. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one item morphing. Yep. Those are like, uh, I think the red ones are, I think these are potatoes. So I think the, the apples are not as pinkish red. I think. Maybe. Yeah, there's that pretty wall art. The leaves. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. A lot of little, oh, little areas oh, yeah. in here. Yes. If you haven't seen this one yet, please come over and see it in person, because we're missing a lot as usual. Just thinking how much we're going to miss next week. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Next week, you know, we're doing another road show, and we'll be touring with Blythe, the Maze Dimension yep. contest entries. And I don't know whether we're going to convince Blythe to do this with us, but <laughs> we're going to drink heavily before the road show. And during. <laughs> <laughs> and probably after. Because neither of us is what you would call loaded with maze skills. Yeah, so I, I definitely hope she makes it through them. Um, oh, she said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little area right here that looks out onto the water and Mr. Laughing Tree over there. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I found the fishing spot. Yeah. Well, I can guarantee that my second dimension didn't look anything like this. Oh, gosh, no. Mine was very, very, very not good. Okay. Pretty. Yep. Very pretty. So, we probably should go next to... Let's see. Let's go to Modern Mountain Hideaway. Mm, the bane of my existence. Aww. This one was. This one was hard. This one is gorgeous. Yes, it is. And you said that you're using Tinker Tools for your building. Well, I'm trying um, a little bit. Um, the stairs and, you know, making walls flush, kind of. Still learning, obviously. Well, this is a beautiful modern house you've created here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Polly says she can say from personal experience that alcohol does not improve May's skills. <laughs> <laughs> from recent personal experience. <laughs> I'm going to run around the outside of this real quick. Beautiful pool out here and mm -hmm. fountain. All sleek and kind of minimalist. I love this modern style. So what inspired you to build this kind of a build? Um, I guess just really the challenge, just, just to, just to do it really, just to see if I could, I guess. Yeah. Me 
Hey, sometimes that's all the inspiration we need. Mm. Mazes make you want to drink. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. I love the color choices in here. Yes. And kind of simple plantings um, and not a lot of color in the plantings. I think it, it fits it just beautifully. Yeah. Odzilla's best part of this dimension is the sign in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> in case there's any question about what you're doing here. <laughs> Nice knife block there. I, I like, I like the... this gigantic clock. Yes, love that. Love how the pipes are exposed in the I kitchen. I was trying to do an industrial kind of thing. I think you did. Yep. Oh, and I just wanted everybody to watch for the wall art in here because um, it's, I, I really think it's cool. Um, You've, you've you've taken some of the either something with neat color or with a texture and made this you know modern art in here. I really like it. Same here. I like this um, the little lamps. Oh yeah, the really modern lamps. Those are so cool. I was trying to do something like angle poise lamps, but obviously, you know, with what building materials we have, that's what I came up with. Yeah, nice. That's nifty. I think one of the neatest things about um, dimension building is how different people deal with uh, some of the limitations that we have. You know, as far as material choices or um, the item limit. You know, how people deal with the item loot, especially, is really interesting to me. And these stairs are excellently down, done. Um, yes, perfectly smooth. Yeah. Thanks to your tutorials. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the lights that you've done in here, like there's a picture d uh, down below, an artwork that Scott, you did a rod of the glowing uh, building blocks that we have. And then you have some up here in the ceiling using the glowing blocks. They're, they're simple design, but they look really cool. Mm -hmm. And I like this, um, the picnic area out on the, uh, uh, the top patio. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like you can eat and exercise at the same time because you got to <laughs> exercise ball chairs. <laughs> really like this piece here, the little mountain uh, house painting with the Oakwood sun. There's this that. is the guest room. There's that light fe feature. I think just a pole just is mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, I love that picture. Yeah. And then, of course, wow, the, all these windows to the views. You, uh, Fiendish, you were talking about liking to see the different ways that people handle item limit and, you know, all these kind of limitations that we're all getting. Another one is um, hiding stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like seeing how people solve that problem. So there's another one of those modern 
looking lamps. Yep. <laughs> Pretty. It's like this the brick in here mixed with the limestone on this um this art piece over the other this other bed. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. You can definitely plants off center. Eh. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I mean Me neither. Just don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it only ever matters in contests. And if you're not judging, I don't think it even matters then. Yeah, that's true, too. Oh, so Slowpoke finally made it out to this other balcony. Hey, you shut your face. This is so pretty <laughs> out here, too. Yes. Like these lounge loungers that you created. Mm -hmm. It's nifty. This, this room definitely has the... The industrial vibe mm -hmm. with the metal lamps and the the stone and the, the brick the and brick the, yeah and then the 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 closets made from safes mm-hmm sparkling says she loves the color choices above the bed Those are reminiscent of Sparkland's gazebo, which is so pretty. And then you got the kids' room. I like that little bed. I love this uh, little, like, aquarium, globe aquarium mm -hmm. thing. So cute. color choices in here definitely make you think of a kid's room. Mm-hmm. All the bright, the bright colors. All the kid clutter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From up here, you can get a good look at that cool chandelier that lights the stairway, too. Yep. That's nifty. It is. I, I notice you use a lot of these, um, the, the connectors in your dimensions. Farisa? Did we, did yes, we lose sorry. you, B? <laughs> no, sorry. I'm just... The connectors, what do you mean? Um, like the S-curve? Um, oh, yeah. The W-curve? The... They're my ropes, my stuff. Yeah. And Zilla likes how this window um, kind of frames the tree outside, and I, I do too. That looks like it's, another it looks, piece of wall. Yeah, out. exactly. And when they're up like this, you can really get a good look at how how the textures on some of these uh, roofing pieces varies. Like I didn't know that the the brown shingle had those specks on it. I just thought they were really pretty. I mean, mm -hmm. interesting. So mm -hmm. they are. I mean, with the pattern, it's already worked into it. It it's a good use. They they make a good one piece. Um, picture mm -hmm. yeah same thing with the um the tin roof oh yep. yeah the tin roof is my favorite mm -hmm. i like that the chandelier i actually saw in a magazine or something similar and i thought oh i love that i need to recreate that somehow oh cool 
<laughs> and these new carpet tiles are perfect for rugs here when you want kind of a more minimalist look. Oh, I think I missed the, the room down here too. Hmm? Very slowly hidden that way. Oh, yeah, we got the loo in the washroom back yeah. here, corner. Some more exposed pipes. Some other cool uh, light fixtures. Mm -hmm. And an ultra modern toilet. <laughs> 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 These are my favorite light fixtures, actually. I don't know why. I just these are I nifty. Like I mean, they're cool looking. I think the way you chose to run the bricks um, yep. up and down, down, yeah, is is a more modern looking. I like your pocket doors. And I made a little kiwi, or attempt at a kiwi. Because I live in New Zealand, so. Oh, so it's sometime Sunday there. Yeah, it's Sunday. Oh. Isn't it around ten thirty? Yep. Almost yep. ten thirty exactly. Yep. Definitely a lovely house. I already ran around the outside. I like this furniture piece in the entrance too. Mm -hmm. The coat rack. Mm -hmm. Like the layout is, is spacious, but it doesn't really feel empty. I was worried about that, that there was just so much space that it would feel cavernous, yeah. especially this room, this in the lounge area, that space. No, not at all. I mean, it, I don't really look too much at pictures of modern houses, but I mean, the ones that I do look at, they seems like the furniture is pretty minimal and this, mm. but I think the color choices are, are varied enough that it really, um, you know, kind of distracts and diverts and it does, you know, even the colors themselves kind of take up space, if that makes any sense at all. No, it does. It makes perfect sense. And which one was next on the list, Eva? So next, let's go see her oasis dimension. Oh, my favorite. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one that's on. That's Vivisa. Ah. Oasis in the desert. And that one we all just visited was at the tier four. So. Yep. And this one is also at the tier four. Mm-hmm. I, okay. <clears throat> I saw this one first on, I think, what you call it. And one thing I really like is the facade that you did um, to make those detailed roof lines like they have in the on these kind of real buildings. Me too. With the with the spheres and the triangles and mm -hmm. if this actually started as like a Spanish mission, mm -hmm. but somehow it just morphed into something much more Middle Eastern y. Yeah. And so I just kinda went with it and
We are a little hookah over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a quick run around outside. You notice she has little like mini oasis pieces kind of off in the distance. Mm -hmm. Wow, another gorgeous pool with another gorgeous fountain. Yeah. And this one looks like a, a pond surface and not a, a nope, there's the, the actual pool, pond. Yeah, Middle Eastern-y, that's my technical term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. These narrow vertical openings, windows are just beautiful in this structure. Just I love this, um, this wall art right over here with the pyramids. Mm -hmm. It's very striking uh, with the metal blocks. Just don't look too closely at the joining of things in this area. <laughs> It's a bit dodgy. Like these, um, these, uh, these ceiling lights. Made from the Farkland, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, baskets. That's cool. They're, they're trying to be Moroccan type yeah. lamps mm -hmm. of some description. And this splash, the splash piece back here. I love this. Oh yeah, that's so beautiful. Yeah, everyone seems to like the backsplash. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, it's colorful, it's, it's got a nice pattern to it. And again, windows that are like um, other art pieces. Mm -hmm. God, you're so slow. <laughs> Get the lead out. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> Imagine how it'll be next week when I have no filter. <laughs> There's another cool art piece inside the front door with some more of the metal mm -hmm. uh, blocks. That's pretty. I love these niches, wall niches so perfect for this architecture and decorated so nicely i actually like this wall piece right here with the black wood and the and the mahogany mhm mm that's pretty that's some incense here pretty touch i don't think i'm there yet diva no you went past it That's, that's why walking is doesn't matter. This window right here that lets you see into the into the yard. Gorgeous. And 
another little decorative um, wall piece up by the fireplace. Yeah, and on, on the, the windows, yeah. love that. Yeah. I've apparently forgotten all my words. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. 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 <laughs> Pretty kind of chapel you might expect to find at a desert oasis. It's quite boring, quite simple, but... It's not boring. It, work. yeah. it works. I don't think it's boring at all. More and essence. stone table with parts hidden that make it look like a great altar there. Grunt twice for like. <laughs> <laughs> Diva I love how you totally used let the, me miss the bedroom. Love how you used the niche kind of built-in headboard mm -hmm. thing here for the bed. See, I'm equally articulate today. <laughs> the bed thing. <laughs> and this wall art in here matches your theme just as well as the other. So pretty. I love this little corner double window here in the bedroom. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Look out on that little pool off the living room. And ca carpet on the walls. All the way different ways we try to add texture to our mm -hmm. builds. Yep. Well, I actually like that one, the orange carpet, because mm -hmm. it doesn't really look orange. It's more... Yeah, it's my favorite as well, the orange. Yeah. Yep. Quite it's nice. really pretty. Because it's not orange. It's a color that kind of chameleons to whatever you've got with it. It kind of goes brown or whatever. This is just a beautiful... Um, dimension and I noticed that all of these are at T4 or less do you ever think that you'll go up to a, a tier 5 build or I, I don't even know what that really means oh like <laughs> <laughs> you've you've upgraded this one uh, to to the fourth level uh -huh. you know you've paid to upgrade this one oh I see what you're saying and and there is a T5 a tier five upgrade. We're just curious. Yeah, we we I'm think just being that nosy, I'm yeah. Sorry. We're just Snoopy. <laughs> I I imagine someday I might. I don't know. But I mean, not that your uh, dimensions are suffering from any lack of detail. They're not at all. Uh, which which is amazing. heading out to the little it's a pretty pool out here mm -hmm. hey don't question it odds odds says I love the orange because it's not orange yeah makes sense to me I thought didn't we fire her again I, I don't know I mean it, I can't keep track <laughs> <laughs> hey fiendish if you run over and look at real close up close at one of those dirt devils dust devils you can maybe take wing and be the wicked witch of the desert oh and see you had been doing so well about not calling me a witch or a bitch or oh <laughs> don't or any kind of crazy names like that. <laughs> oh. 
these are so pretty, such pretty dimensions. Come see them in person. Indeed. And what's the next one on our list? Uh, the next one we're going to is, um, it's her. The garden. Garden, right. yes. My pretentious French names, yes. And it's by Parisa. Uh huh. And this is the one I actually I wrote a post about a little while ago. I'm just going to call it the English Garden. Yep. And this is just gorgeous from the outside. And it's in a way a, a little oasis too, because you re you have to check where you are at the dimension tag. Because this, this is, is the another... one where I met Diva. Actually, I zoned yep. in. She was standing there. <laughs> that was quite surprising. It's another anywhere. So this beautiful walled off, gorgeous garden. Definitely some good use of terrain paint in here. Yeah, I made this right after I discovered that I could make terrain paint, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a couple little seating vignettes in here off the path that are really pretty. My God, she's running. You and know. my hopes are dashed. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the last time you ran the camera, you were walking everywhere, everywhere. Well, they say the memory is the first thing to go. Yes, oh, I remember. Uh huh. <laughs> This is such a pretty little swing area here, too, that you were looking at. Mm -hmm. Those are one of my favorite trees, the glow leaf. Mm-hmm. Love those. And you do such a great job of tying the theme together between the outside and the inside. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. This is part of that whole being an artist in real life thing. Probably, yeah. It's just another outlet, really. I sense a love for natural things, plants and so forth. And I think you're going to be gobsmacked when you see Bacon, however that's pronounced, in the new forest zone for SFP. What what the quartermaster's selling. I don't know if Ooh. you've made it there. No. But it's, wow, it's really amazing. Yeah. Tons of stuff. Mm-hmm. Not really a bad thing in the bunch. And a ton of wonderful, wonderful things. Yeah. I love this view outside. Again, it's like another painting. And if that's not enough for you, there's hot pie. <laughs> <laughs> there's one on the windowsill as well. Yeah. That's, uh, I think that was the pie she was referring to. <laughs> was the one cooling on the sill. <laughs> can only imagine what Oddzilla is about to type in chat. Just don't, don't do it, lady. <laughs> oh, she's, Odd says she, that you left a snack for her uh, when she was <laughs> creeping. See how Odd does like to look in windows, just throwing it out there. <laughs> just 
you know, so many details. Um, I love the high mantle here over the, this fireplace, and then mm -hmm. just a few of the little gl new glass bottles there, and you've got the drying herbs on the wall, just such, and this wine rack, just such pretty features. <laughs> the shield that you made it with the tribal table and the swords, that's cool. Like this little corner desk that's tucked out here. So cute. This was actually not here when I initially visited. Which part? The, this, the, the little room. bathroom wasn't furnished. Oh, yeah. But, of course, I just posted about it anyway, because <laughs> I'm just pretty thoughtless, mostly. I like the shades Cute. that are on this window. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Oh, just run up the steps, fiendish. Come on. Oh, no. Now that you're, if you're going to keep griping at me, I'm just going to go even slower. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to mazes and puzzles, I'll have to run because some of the jumps, you know, you can't really walk up. I'm almost certain that there's some of them that well, there's a lot of them that we're probably not going to actually complete. I think we're going to take a drink every time I fall or you fall or... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that little picture over the bunk beds, too. Mm -hmm. So cute. More kid clutter. Yes. Perfect. I like this mirror. Um, yeah, isn't aren't those corner pieces pretty? Mm -hmm. Like that. More modern art too. Yeah, that's my nod to Rothko. Yeah. <laughs> Love this bedroom. Like the, the canopy bed and. And I like this one art piece you're reusing from your Oasis dimension. Nice to have some kind of signature items for people to watch for when they tour in your dims. Yeah, I love the metal tiles. That's pretty. I miss Aflac because she could be accompanying your slow walk with you know, these boots are made for walking or something. I know how you adored her singing. <laughs> <laughs> huh. This is a very... Other pretty bedroom. Mm -hmm. a very dramatic uh, bed here. Cool fireplace. And for sure, I like all the way the, the, the color ties. And Sparkland had mentioned this already about um, the way the colors are tied from the inside and the outside. And we mentioned it earlier, too. Mm -hmm. I do try to pick um, set colors and and go with that. And, and the same with woods and, you know, just so everything's coordinated. Yeah. Here's that so-called orange carpet tile again. It looks such a beautiful, deep, rich terracotta color. Love it. Oh, 
And we broke down. We broke out terracotta. How <laughs> <laughs> just said brown? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so we have just a few minutes left, and we could sneak into her very first dimension. <laughs> we always kind of like to see people's first dimensions, mm -hmm. and hers is cute. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that one? It's the witch's lair. Witch's lair. It's on Velisa. I mean, it only looks, you know, 200 times better than my first dimension. Plus, it's a still more veil, yep. which, you know, just isn't used quite as much. And I always like seeing how people use these sort of other dims. Yeah. I really like Stillmore Vale, except for the ground. <laughs> well, I mean, because there's no... I, I think Stillmore Flat Vale spots. is like probably one of the most challenging to build in just because of the way the terrain's laid out. I was basically just going for vibe here. I wanted it to be haunted. I wanted it to be, you know, all And it is. It is. Yeah. Sparkling actually gave me the pumpkins for this, which I've just sunk into the ground. Yep. I love me some foggy pumpkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there are some wonderfully generous people in our community. Yes, there are. We're so lucky. So willing to share and help. Love it. This is a nice little ha cottage here. It is. She's doing her outside run around. Oh. Oh. My doggy. There goes my doggies. Hmm, don't look too close. Yep. I mean, I could say that my first dimension had nothing like ambiance or atmosphere. <laughs> it was some stuff stuck in there. I think I'll stick this here. Yep. Ooh, I'll put this there. Look, those are next to each other. That's what my first dimension was like. Yep. This is, crooked. I mean, you've got a really nice theme going here with lots of details that go with your theme, and you created a great little foggy atmosphere, haunted, like you say. Yep. I think it's so There's pretty. even a child's skull on the shelf. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> it's a witch's lair, after all. Yeah, that's true! Big pile of spell books. She's dabbling in astronomical magic. Mm. Yeah, this are... I mean, I know pretty. I love first, my first dimension looked like, and it was bad. It, that's all, just bad. There's the little child's skull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the coffin coffee table. Yep. Cute. So I know in my first one, I didn't even know, I didn't know anything about toolbox. Um, there wasn't a straight corner to be found. Every wall was leaning like the Pact Tower of Pisa. 
<laughs> if it wasn't mismatched, it was flickering. Yeah. It didn't last long. Yeah, I destroyed the evidence of my first one. Yep. I and probably key, two, three and four. I kind of cringe when I go in my second one, too, even though I worked so hard to save up enough plat to buy Fane's Retreat. In yeah. the old days, you had to buy it. You didn't get it free. <laughs> Anyone want a cat only slightly used? Uh, oh, I think it's her cat. <laughs> it's just, it's like kind of random. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was reading the chat. Winter Charm says she's still got her first one. She laughs every time it goes in there. She was so proud of it, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And when I finished that first one, man, I was like, yeah, look at this. It's so awesome. <laughs> then, then I went into another one. I think it was probably Kits, and I was like, man, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, oh, my God, now I have to TNT mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. I think well, we have time for some giveaways, don't some you? Some giveaways, yeah. So, I have one disclaimer about some of these codes is that they are going to expire Monday. on the 5th. Yep. And today is the 3rd. So, or the fourth, if you. Depending on your area. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> so, I, I urge you to use them immediately should you win. Okay. And I'm going to send them in. Uh, the message system here in Twitch, which doesn't disappear. So if you don't want to hang out and wait for your code and you want to go whatever about your private business, <laughs> feel free to do that. It'll still be here waiting for you. But I'm going to send the codes out right immediately. Okay, so for the first set of a racing snail and a radar corgi pet. Fern 32. Congrats. Yay. And here we go Thank again. You. Thank you. Polynomia! Make a new friend, Polly, and give him your snail code. <laughs> Since I think you have a couple from past road shows. Well, some and of these here... guys have weighted dice, I swear. Yeah, I agree. And. Danny's Private Idaho. Congrats. Oh, thank you, everybody. That's very nice. Thank you. Yep. Let's do one more. Okay, one more it is. And... Kinnereth. Kinnereth! Congratulations to everybody that won. I hope you're happy that you won. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not happy, we don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Just make a new friend with your codes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for coming on yep. with us today uh, uh, to tour Verisa Velisa Vivisa's dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> and, and thank, thank you. you so, yes, yeah. V, for coming on today. Thank you for having me. It was yeah. fun. And so, again, next week's road show will be a drunken festival of black <laughs> maze, di maze dimensions. <laughs> Yeah, full of fail. 
And that is certainly going to be fun. <laughs> Probably not for me and Fiendish, but no, I'm just kidding. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, we'll it'll be, be drunk fun. enough. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. We might want to not actually record that one, though. Oh, yeah. Because then the evidence will remain on YouTube forever. It'll be all right. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Happy touring, happy building, and happy playing SFP. Yep, and we will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>